Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about this new attenuator, the AT Spark. This attenuator is a bit different from the others since uh, it's not only a 20 per attenuator, but it can also manage uh, high voltages up to 500 volts. And overall, the most important thing is it is spark resistant. To make uh, this device spark resistant, let's see first what is the issue. Last time, in the last video, I showed you the spark plug tester. This one is a device uh, that helped me to generate spark. And with this, I can test the, the standard uh, attenuator versus the new one. So a common issue in the standard attenuators uh, is that they cannot be used, uh, uh, they cannot stand sparks. So let's see what happens. Here I have just a, have a device that measures the electromagnetic field to, to tell me when the, the environment is, is a bit dangerous. Uh, but anyway, I've, uh, I've dressed my protection, my physical protections. So let's start this test. As you can see, there is some spark happening inside the attenuator itself. So it doesn't matter if uh, it is closed inside the plastic box, the spark are happening right inside the attenuator. Okay, I'm going to stop it. The dangerous of this part is not only in the spark and the device that is behind here, but is also in all the surrounding devices, because this spark in open air is going to generate an electromagnetic field very, very strong, as we saw from the instrument. So actually, if you have a computer nearby, devices, laptop, whatever is that, is going to probably to stop. During the test, I have uh, disconnection from the USB keyboard. I have disconnection from the from the screen of the computer, and so on. So uh, this kind of device is not is not very proper to use when we are measuring something nearby sparks. So I want to show you now how this device work. I will not connect this one to an oscilloscope because uh, it's going to probably to burn the oscilloscope. I already had the test before. So I have an oscilloscope that is already gone. Uh, I'm going directly to use this one. Okay, I have my tablet running H-scope. Let's see if I have a space to place the attenuator. Let's zoom out a bit. Okay. Let's set they probe to the factor 20 for the attenuation and run the spark directly inside this attenuator. As we see on the laptop, we have a waveform coming out. Let's put the trigger on this. Okay, as we can see, we have a waveform. 
the range we have here peak to peak is 600 volts so an HS FAO2 with with this uh, attenuation factor can have a range from uh, minus 330 volts to plus 330 volts let's see what happens if we increase the frequency of the sparks we should be able to see other waveform on the same screen here, there you see how many? but no damage to the oscilloscope so far ok I would say it works I can hear the spark just from uh, the candle here but not from the box let's see if I disconnect the candle no noise, no noise at all I still have an electromagnetic wave nearby the cable I can read the spark on H scope yeah, working shut down So I will say that uh, this device just passed the test do not replicate this test this is not meant for direct spark inside it so don't use uh, with this purpose this is just protected against spark some final words about this device this is not meant uh, to be used directly with sparks it just provides you an additional protection against sparks consider also that the ground we use is a common ground between your system, your measurement system and uh, your input point so pay attention that your ground is really a ground it is not at a very high voltage otherwise this will pass through your instrument and then to your hands through the tablet thanks for watching this video if you have uh, some idea or some comment just write it down and I will uh, check it later